Welcome back YouTube and today we have a snippet from a productivity course, uh, namely the time audit. It's a very practical exercise to track your time at least during a few days to see where your time is really going. Warning, this can actually be shocking and disturbing because you will find out you might spend a lot of time on minutia and things that are not contributing to your goal. So please do the exercise, the worksheet is linked below uh, to this video and uh, please comment below what insights you got. Hopefully it's really helping you. This is part of the productivity course we have as PyBytes. You can also find more information below and let's dive into the demo. Welcome back. Uh, so here is the spreadsheet, which we will um, link below. And then we're going to fill this out for um, today, Monday, how the day is going and um, it should serve as a demo how to use this tool. Right, so before we start, let's just run through a couple of quick best practices. The first thing is one, don't be overwhelmed. We know it's uh, it's a lot of work doing this, but it's one, it's super valuable and you will get a lot out of it. So just stick with it. Uh, number two, don't think you have to do this forever. Three days is what I recommend. Uh, if you are not convinced after three days and you wanna keep pushing, that's fine, but don't do more than five days, not for this course, not just to start off. Uh, as you do this more often, Bob and I tend to do, do this once a month just to stay in rhythm and make sure we're on the right track. And when we do that, we only do one or two days and that's about it. Uh, but for your first attempt, try and stick with three days. And the last tip here is don't wait until the end of the day to fill the hours in because you will forget. So start setting yourself reminders to trigger every hour or every time you change a task, come and fill it in, right? It's going to take a bit of discipline to remember to do it, but it'll make your life a lot easier than trying to do it at 7 p.m. there or 8 p.m. trying to remember what did I do for the past, you know, 13 hours. Cool. Yeah, that's a good so point. Bob, like probably you want to have this open in a tab in your browser. And uh, after every task or every few tasks grouped together, go to it and, and uh, note it down. Otherwise, it will be very hard to uh, do this accurately. And also like your feedback of not doing this always. Um, we definitely don't do this every day. It's, it's a tool. So use it as a tool. Don't be perfectionistic about it um, to do this for the sake of the tool. It's really a tool to get you back on track. Once you're on track and you feel like pretty... Um, confident in how you're spending your time, then this tool could be redundant for, for some time to come. Yep. And don't think you have to use this template. Uh, you can do it whatever way you want. If it works for you to have a notepad and just scribble it in, that's fine as well. As long as you're tracking it every hour, you might even want to break it down to the half hour increments as well. It's up to you. Uh, I personally use a notebook that's uh, you know day to a page calendar. So that works for me. Okay, so for this demo, I'm going to switch back to Vim then. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, use Vim. So All right. yeah, obviously I'll we're making a little bit of a mistake of going four hours back, but um, that just happened. Um, it's still valid to do it. So at 7 a.m. I woke up and I watched a Python talk, which is my new habit, right? At 8, I did my gym, which is very important. 9, I did the kids. And now I cannot remember. Yeah, I know. I uh, did code reviewing for our clients, <laughs> right? And then at 10, I forgot. I go back to that. 11, we did the podcast. And around noon, we're doing this um, this training, right? Yep, perfect. So something like that. Can now, yeah, one, one thing to point out here is, well, one, you can see Bob's already forgotten what he did at 10 o'clock. And it's only, you know, 12 o'clock. Where Those he's emails slacking. I remember. Yeah. Uh, Slack, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there you go. Nice. Email and Slack. Uh, now, that's a, that. if you're new to this, you, you might even find that email shows up like six or seven times during your day, in which case, you know, oh, geez, I better cut back on that. So this is a way of showing you where you're spending that time. And what you do at the end of this is you go, you think to yourself, what was a waste of time? Or what did I, did I need to do that? Could that have been sacrificed in the name of productivity? Did I have to sit there and, you know, go to the gym? Well, of course you have to go to the gym, Bob, but I'm yeah. just saying, um, where's the priority? So I know there's that, that saying time management 
is a myth and it's more about priority management. Mm. And so you look at this and you can see where your time's going. So let's fill this in. Let's continue through, Bob. We'll go because where I am, it's the evening and it's past 7 p.m. Let's fill in the rest of the day with my stuff. So from 1 p.m. for me, I was driving. And that's it. Right. Yep. 2 p.m. I was feeding the baby and then watching a movie with the kids. Yep. Yep. 3 p.m. The movie was still going. (laughs) 4 p.m. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, bath time. So not my bath time. That's the kids. Yeah, okay. yeah, 5 p.m. was dinner. 6 p.m. was the bedtime routine. Wow. Yeah. And 7 p- yeah, wow. And 7 p.m. was uh, Pi Bytes email. Yep. So what I will point out there, first of all, is that today was a day off work. So <laughs> today was my day off. So it's that's why my day. four-hour work week. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why my day is full of kids and movies and stuff. It's school holidays here. But you, what I want to point out. Uh, Sunday. <laughs> what I will point out here is this is not a regular day and I can safely look at that and say those hours between 1 and 3 p.m. are definitely not productive to my personal goals to you know achieve whatever it is that I'm trying to achieve. That was more about family time. So I know looking back at that, that's not what tomorrow is going to be like. No. And you can start making these sort of uh, realizations, these patterns that you might find as you start doing this day to day. Yeah, this is one of our favorite quotes from uh, Peter Drucker, right? What gets uh, measured gets managed. And having this data day to day, you find it feel like you start to manage your, your week. Um, so it's, it's really powerful. Right, six minutes of demo done. Now it's time to take action. Please follow the spreadsheet link below and make a copy for yourself. Do this for a few days and see where your time is going. As we said at the end of the video, what gets measured gets managed. And the time audit is a very powerful tool. And one of our staples uh, we have used with many, many people to make them realize uh, where they were losing time and get back on track. So uh, take this opportunity to go do this exercise and please let us know how it went for you.